I like to say this, that I didn't choose this job, this job chose me. Um, and uh, I, I knew I couldn't say no because they were going to give me a full-time position in the school and an opportunity to really affect the culture of, of the athletic program. So um, it was a, a match made in heaven. I can't imagine a better transition from playing professionally. So The feeling I get when I'm playing is, 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 a, is it's almost therapeutic. It, it quiets my mind almost in a way. When there's so much going on on a basketball court, I can sort of be laser focused. I've always been my best in that atmosphere. My high school coach was probably, I consider the best basketball coach that I've ever had. Um, he had a huge influence on, on just developing me as a player and my knowledge of the game and he pushed me he pushed me harder than anyone ever has and probably ever will. <laughs> my dream really was always to make the NBA. Um, in order to do that, I, I, I knew I had to make it to Division I, to, the, to that level. I never thought that I'd be good enough to make it to that level, um, but that was always my dream. I, from Notre Dame, I went on to play in the NBA D-League for, for a year. I wanted to, to see what my chances were to make the NBA. Uh, after that, I went over to Greece for a year, and I found my way to Limoges, France, where I signed a two-year contract. And I had a really good two years there in France, and we, we decided that I think this is a place, this is a country where we can stay. And veterans have told me that oh, playing in Europe, if you find a place that you like, stay, don't leave, because you never know what, what you're going to get playing over there. So I really found a home there. The past four or five years, I didn't know what my transition from playing would look like. I didn't know what my next step would be. And so I was investigating certain things, certain routes, certain avenues. I knew I wanted to coach deep down, but it's a very difficult career, uh, especially to start. Okay. When we switch, we switch aggressively. Okay? It's the same thing as ball school. Then here we get to last year, before last year, and I'm speaking with Mrs. DeSantis, the principal, and she uh, mentions to me that there may be an opening coming here in terms of uh, the athletic director and the head boys basketball coach. Oh, great patience, great patience. And it's really um, a fulfilling experience for me to be here with the kids to share uh, some of the experiences that I've had over the past 10, really 15 years. Uh, uh, and share uh, from playing overseas, from playing at, at, at the highest level of basketball, and, uh, and hopefully show them that they can, they can do whatever they want as well. Of course, we want to win. Of course, that's why you play. And I'm a competitor at heart, so I want to win. Uh, but that's not the only reason why I think you do something like this. That's not the reason why you take a job like this. Uh, I say the job chose me because I feel like the school, the kids, and the culture of the school can, can be uplifted. Um, and I hope to, to do that.